This is Nick Baisley here at the First Glance Film Festival in Philadelphia. I'm here tonight with... Sharon Pinkinson. Hi, Sharon. Thank you for coming here tonight. How are you tonight? I'm doing great, thanks. How are you? I'm doing excellent, thank you. So what, what brings you to the First Glance Film Festival tonight? I know that you're very active in the film community out here. What exactly do you do? Well, I'm the film commissioner for Philadelphia and the four surrounding counties, so all of southeastern Pennsylvania. Um, and I've been on the on the sidelines watching and supporting First Glance Film Festival since 1996, I guess probably before that when, uh, when they were first planning it. And I'm really uh, excited to be here after all these years and to see them thriving and growing. Um, if a filmmaker were to come and approach you uh, for, for something, you know, what exactly would, would you kind of help would you give over there at the Film Commission office? Sure. Well, we're responsible for attracting all of the film, television, video, all the moving picture business to come and work in this region and hire local people and use local resources. We're really economic development office. There's about 330, I think, film commissions around the world, of which we're a big one. And uh, we help find locations, coordinate physical production, um, help get them tax credits. We have a great tax credit program in Pennsylvania. Um, and so, and we also support the local indigenous film community and all the local film festivals. So we do lots, we do lots of stuff. I like to call myself the mother of all production. The mother of all production. Now, yeah, it, it, a lot of uh, different uh, film commissions, you know, help out filmmakers have the tax credits and stuff like you mentioned. Um, as far as is helping with the film festivals and stuff like that, you're here today supporting us. I'm very happy to see you here at first glance. Um, what what other kinds of uh, things? Do, do you have any favorite types of movies that you come to see at these? I mean, uh, any any kind of favorite directors or anything like that? I, you know. Every director, to me, every director is the next, you know, the next great thing. So I think that, that people should go see everything that they can possibly see. If you love movies, you want to really see everything so you can develop your own taste so that you can find budding new talent. And this is, First Glance is the perfect place to do that. Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm a great film lover. Unfortunately, those of us who are in the business who are making movies frequently don't get enough time to see them. Usually I only get to see movies when I'm traveling for film festivals, but I'm, I'm really going to try to see as many films as I can this time around. Excellent. Now, do you have any uh, favorite films that have ever come out of uh, Philadelphia, uh, you know, ever? Well, I'm way too old to have any good memory, but my very favorite film that was ever, ever made in Philadelphia is, was, and will always be the movie Philadelphia. Uh, why not, right? And the name says it all. Because, you know, some other people might say Rocky, and you say you're old, too old, no way. I would have begged you like 25, right? Yes. Is that exactly? That's, that's, that's exactly right. No, actually, Philadelphia was the very first movie that um, that was made under my watch as film commissioner. Actually, I guess The Age of Innocence was the first one, but Philadelphia was the first one to shoot entirely every single frame in Philadelphia. And it wasn't called Philadelphia when we were making it. Um, so I was very proud of the fact that the filmmakers, Jonathan Demme, decided to, to name the movie after my city, and I think we changed the world with that movie, so I think it's going to take a lot you know, you guys, to, like another, to like another movie more. You guys have a lot of uh, famous filmmakers that come out here. You have uh, Darren Aronofsky, you have Jonathan Demme, you have all these people that come out. What do you think makes Philadelphia such an interesting attraction to filmmakers? Well, before we had the tax credits, as I mentioned, we have a wonderful tax credit program in Pennsylvania. Ours is one of the, clearly one of the top five. But, um, but before we had tax credit, we had things that we have and continue to have, and that is um, wonderful locations. We have locations in the Philadelphia area from every period in our nation's history, um, and, that, and not just a building. We have whole neighborhoods from colonial time to present day to Victorian locations. We really um, have uh, you know, industrial towns and you know we've we just about everything here so that's a very it's, and they're very interesting locations so people love that you can get from the city to the countryside uh, really rural countryside in less time than it get, takes to get from the east side to the west side of manhattan so um so it, it's a very film friendly place filmmakers love it the public loves it here and um, and it's we have wonderful, experienced crews. We've been making movies here for 110 years, and um, and most recently, I've been around since '92. So we have been making a lot of movies. I think um, well over 300 major feature films and TV shows during my watch. And um, so we've got great crews, great equipment, 
uh, great resources. And we're opening a big new movie studio next month, so that's very exciting. Oh, can you tell us a little bit more about the new movie studio? Yes, it's called Sun Center Studios, and it's in Aston, PA, which is in Delaware County. It's maybe 20 minutes from City Hall in Philadelphia, and uh, there'll be four big stages there. Um, we open next month, and we're celebrating our 25th anniversary at a big party there on November 14th. November fourteenth. Be sure to go check that out because that sounds like it's going to be some good stuff. Now, and that's good. That hopefully will bring in a lot more income into Philadelphia as a in, in Pennsylvania as a state as well. Um, how do you work with other uh, regions within uh, Pennsylvania? Well, you know, we're always we're always competing with other locations to get the jobs here. But anything that's shooting in Pennsylvania is going to use our resources and our crews and usually our hotels and our airport and and so. Um, it's become a really statewide industry, so we're really happy if anything just stays in Pennsylvania. Um, but we we are frequently double for Washington D.C. and New York, and when it's just any big city or any rural countryside, so we attract a lot of different kinds of productions. Now, speaking of those different kinds of productions, we're here to, to celebrate tonight the independent filmmaker. Um, obviously, independent film, it's its all over the place. Uh, there's theres another festival going on right now showcasing some independent films as well. Uh, what is the biggest piece of advice that you could give an independent filmmaker who's going to, you know, need, is going to need some help approaching you guys for help with locations or, or just anything like that? What's the biggest piece of advice that, that you could give them to, to kind of get them going on the right track? Call me. <laughs> the biggest piece of advice I have is call the Greater Philadelphia Film Office. Um, go on our website, which is film.org. It's not hard to remember. We are um, we are really a tremendously resourceful film office, and I'd like to think that we're the best film commission in the world. So we have that reputation. We've got a lot of repeat business. We treat independent and first-time filmmakers the exact same way as we would treat Darren Aronofsky or Night Shyamalan. So we clearly want to have everybody coming um, and asking for our help because we're going to make their their lives and their production period um, really a joy instead of a headache. Well, we really appreciate that you're, you're so active uh, in the community in general, but specifically the film community here supporting uh, the First Glance Film Festival over here at the Franklin Institute tonight, a, a wonderful location for, for independent filmmakers. Um, have you ever seen a, any movies here before, even if it was even one of the educational films? I have, actually. I have. It's, a, it's actually a great venue for seeing film, and I strongly recommend that everybody come out and, and see a few films here at, the, at First Glance. Really excited about it. Well, I, I, we hope that you get a chance at some point to go see some of the great films we have here, and, and we want to thank you for, for stopping by, taking the time out, and showing your support for, for independent filmmakers all over the country, not only just here locally, uh, too. So thank you. Thanks.